Hi guys, this is Ashley back with Lumfinity, and today I'm going to show you how to make dock to add to the uh, Dwarf series. Um, I do not have a, ba a band count for you on him. I just wanted to be able to get the tutorial up, so I'm going to go ahead and do them, and I'll just tell you the colors that you'll need. Um, in order to do his hat, I use the neon orange, and you will need skin tone bands for his face and his arms. His shirt is in red. Um, I'm running a little low on the opaque red uh, because of the mural that I've been working on. So today for the tutorial, I'm going to use jelly red um, just for the purpose of showing you how to make him. But if you have regular red, that would be better. Um, also, his pants are the dark brown from Rainbow Loom. And then his shoes are in the caramel color from Rainbow Loom. And I just received my new bag of cocoa colored Rainbow Loom bands. So for the tutorial today, I'm going to go ahead and use the cocoa bands for his pants, but if you do not have them, you can just use um, the regular dark colored brown that, that you might have. You'll also need a couple of black ones for the belt, a gold for the belt hook. I'm using two silver for his glasses, and I'm using two pony beads for the eyes. And on the prototype, um, you'll need white for the beard, but on the prototype, I used buttons because on his shirt, he has two little gold buttons. Um, to me, they're rather large and invasive. So for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm actually going to just use um, a couple of yellow bands so that we can make this smaller. If you have buttons and you like the buttons, um, you're welcome to put those in place of where I place the yellow bands. So if you want to grab your supplies, we can go ahead and get started. The first thing that we are going to create today is going to be an arm. I've already made one, so I'll show you how to make one. You'll just need to pause the video to make a second one. You're starting on the top of your loom with your red bands, and we're coming down three times with two red bands. So that's one, two, and three. You're then coming down two more times with two skin tone colored bands. So that's one and two. And we then need to create the hand for the capping band at the bottom. So you're going to do that with your hook and you're going to start with a single skin tone colored band. On your hook you're going to create four loops. So one, two, three, four. Taking another skin tone band, we're going to double it and feed that onto the single double band and then re-grab the other side and straighten it out. Taking another skin tone band, I'm going to single double and pull that in place as well. And just push that towards the bottom of your hook. We're going to repeat that process again, taking a single, creating four loops taking a single, double it, and pulling that into place, re-grab the other side, taking a single, double it, and grab the other side again. And push down onto your hook, and we're going to repeat that one more time, taking a single, creating four loops, taking a single, double it, Pulling this into place, and we're only going to do one this time because we want to simulate a thumb so it should be a little bit shorter. Taking another single, we're going to double it and I'm going to pull all three fingers onto that band. And then we're going to take that, placing it down at the bottom of the arm, and that will also be your capping band. Once we've done that, we can begin looping. So you're going to go in through the arm and loop straight up. I'm going to grab a holding hook and remove that and set it aside for later. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to, make a second arm, and we can continue on. 
Once we've created the arms, we're gonna go ahead and actually move straight into the body. Um, we're going to actually lay this out a little bit differently than the other dwarves. And part of the reason that I needed to do that was because his, um, his hat here is shorter than the other dwarves. A lot of the dwarves have those droopy hats and his was very short. Um, so I actually borrowed a technique from Looming with Cheryl. If you've made some of her designs, you've probably noticed she creates her bodies a lot and then attaches them into the head. And so um, I'm really good friends with her, so I did speak with her and asked her if she minded if I used that as a technique. I also think that it makes a much neater hat when I'm not having to hook his face into the remainder of the hat. So if you haven't made the other dwarves and you do know how to break it apart a little bit different, you can always use a similar technique. Um, but because his hat was shorter, I was able to do it this way. So right now we're just gonna go ahead and work on the body and then we'll move on to the head later. Um, so you're gonna wanna have your loom in the staggered configuration. I will be using double bands for it unless I specify otherwise. And I want you to come from the center first to the center second peg and you're going to use three skin tone colored bands coming down once. Now before we get um, too far down, I forgot we should go ahead and make the beard um, and set that aside as well. And I should have probably thought about that, but when I created him, um, I was using two separate looms, so I didn't make note of that. So I'm sorry if I'm gonna confuse you a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and do the beard. You can leave that band where it is. So to create the beard, you'll be using your white bands and we'll be single banding. And you're going to come you can start here on the second peg down. You want to come down three times on the left with a single white band. And we're going to do that on the right as well. Then coming from the bottom left where we ended off, coming into the center at an angle with a single white band. You're going to repeat that from the right. And then going from the third peg in the center, just fill in with single white bands. I'm then taking a single white band and from the third peg down, put the third one down. Or maybe I should have done this before we added this in. You want to unhook your center. You're going from the second peg down and you can still leave that in place and we're going to fill in the center. Okay, then taking a single white from the third peg down, you're going to create a single triangle and I'm going to do that again, single triangle and then again down here with a single triangle. Taking a single white, we're gonna cap this off, creating three loops. And then we can begin looping. So you're gonna go in through the capping band, grabbing your first single white and bringing that forward. Just don't loom up the skin tone bands we have sitting up here. Go back in the capping band, grabbing my next white, it goes over into the right. And I'm gonna go back in, grabbing my left one and bringing that over and loom straight up the left side. I'm then going to grab a holding hook and we're just gonna take off these the two whites in the middle and the two on the side, pulling that off and setting that aside for later. Now we can continue on with the body. So we're coming from those three skin tone bands. And again, like I said, I'm using double bands unless I specify otherwise. I'm going to come down from that center second peg out to the left second peg at an angle with two red bands. And I wanna repeat that going from the center to the right 
I am then going to come down the left side of the body three times with two red bands. So that's one, two, and three. And I want to repeat that on the right. So that's one, two, and three. And then we can also fill in our center coming from the center down three times with our double red bands. Then I'm moving into the darker brown. Again, like I said, this for the tutorial, I decided to use some of my cocoa colored brown that I received in the mail. So you're going to come down the left hand side two times with two of your dark brown bands and repeat that on the right and repeat that in the center as well so I'm coming down two more times with my dark brown Then taking two dark brown bands, I'm going from that center pin at a diagonal out to the left, and I want to do the same thing going out and to the right. And then we'll move into the legs, and for his legs, you're going to come down one time on the left with three of your dark brown bands. And you're going to repeat that on the right with three dark brown bands. And then coming down two more times on the left with two dark brown bands. And the same thing on the right with two dark brown bands coming down twice. Then moving into the shoes, we're coming down from the fourth peg from the bottom. You're going to use your lighter brown, or in my case, I'm using the caramel. And I'm going to single double, coming down once. And I want to repeat that on the right-hand side as well. Single double. Then taking two of my caramel bands coming down the left once, and two coming down on the right once. And then I'm going to finish off the bottom. I'm sorry, that's three. So this, the third from the bottom to the second from the bottom, add another band. So we actually want three of the caramel bands there. And then the very last two pegs, you'll use four of your lighter brown or caramel colored bands. And I'm repeating that on the right hand side as well. We then want to cap off these bottom two with a single caramel. You're just creating three loops. And do the same thing on this peg here. So one, two, three. Moving back up into the body, we can go ahead and attach our arms to our two shoulder pegs, which is the second peg from the top. So I'm going to take my arms and just attach those on. And we're going to go ahead and add in some of our crossover bands. So starting with the third peg down, I'm taking a single red and creating a triangle. And I'm going to come down twice, so one, two, with our single red. You'll then need your darker brown coming down with a single dark brown. I'm going to do that again right there. So you have two of the red and two of the darker brown. Now before I begin looping, I want to um, go ahead and make the belt so that I don't forget to add that in. So I'm going to grab my hook and taking my single gold band and on my hook I'm going to create three loops. I'm then taking my two black bands and I'm going to feed that gold onto the black band. 
and I'm just going to set that aside until I get to the area where I want to attach it. But I do that so that I, it's constantly in my line of vision and I don't forget. I have made many of my dwarves many times to get them right and there's been numerous times that I've forgotten to put the belt on. So once this is all in place, we can begin our looping process. We're going to go in through the capping band and I'm going to hold that down because I am working with four bands so your capping band most likely would pop off and I'm going to loom that up. And I'm going to go ahead and just loom up the right hand side until we get to here, to the base of the body. And I'm going to stop there. Going back down on the left, again I'm holding my capping band down, grabbing all four bands. Still manage to grab a capping band. Let's try that again. Okay, and I'm just going to loom straight up like I did on the other side. Stopping there. Now I want to go in on this right side. I'm grabbing only the first two of my dark brown bands. And mine go over and to the left. And I want to do the same thing on the right hand side. Grabbing only the first two and bringing those to the center as well. I am then going to just loop up the first two brown bands in the center. And I'm going to stop there. I'm going to go back down here and loop up my brown bands on the right. Stopping there. And doing the same thing on the left. And I dropped a band. I am having all kinds of band issues today. And so we're stopping there. Now we want to go ahead and loop up the first red before we attach the um, belt. And remember he had the little yellow buttons. So I'm going to take a single yellow band on my hook. And I am going to create four loops. Just like that. I'm then going to go in through my center peg grabbing my two red and I'm going to pull these into place on to that band before I hook to the peg above. Just like that. Now that that's in place I can attach my belt. So I want to take the belt. I'm going to put my hook through the left two black bands. I'm going to go in the left grabbing my two red and then I'm going to pull that into place and hook it above. I'm going to repeat that on the other side so just take your hook through your black on the other side grabbing the next two red pulling the black onto that red band and claiming or hooking it to the peg above. Now I'm going to go ahead and loop up the right hand side and I'm going to stop at the base of the neck. I'm going to repeat that over here on the left. Now I'm going to go in, I'm going to hook or grab my next two red and bring those forward and then I want to add another yellow button so I'm going to take a yellow band on my hook, create my four loops, go in, grab my last two red bands I'm going to pull those in place and then hook to the peg above. Now I can go in through all of the red, grabbing only those bottom three skin bands and bringing those forward. Now that we've done all of that, we can actually go ahead and remove him from the loom, or his body at least.
I'm just going to grab a holding hook through his neck and pull him the rest of the way off. And this is what his body will look like. And we will adjust as far as where these bands are placed once we have him completely done. But this is what you should have. So go ahead and set his body aside and we'll move on to his face. Okay, now that we have the body, we're going to go ahead and begin working on his head. And again, I'll be using double bands unless I specify otherwise. We're going to start at the top of the loom. We'll be using double neon green, or neon green, <laughs> neon orange bands. You're starting from the center peg. We're creating a long angle. So you want to go from the center first to the left second peg. And I'm going to do that again going to the right. I then want to come down the left side of the loom three times with two orange bands. And I'm going to repeat that on the right side as well. Then I'm going to come down the center four times with two orange bands from the center first peg. Then taking two more orange bands, I'm going from the center fifth to the left fifth peg at an angle and repeating that on the right as well. Then I'm going to move down into the face, so I'm switching to my skin tone colored bands. And I'm going to come down the left hand side twice with two skin tone colored bands. And I want to repeat that again on the right. And then I'm going to come down the center here three times with two skin tone colored bands. And then I'm going to close off the bottom angles. So from the right side coming into the center at an angle with two skin bands and then the same thing from the left. Now that those are in place, we're going to go ahead and add some attachments and crossover bands. So first we want to do the face extension pieces. So you're going to take a single skin tone band on your hook and create three loops. I'm then taking two skin tone colored bands and I'm going to feed that in place and reclaim the other side. Taking two more skin tone colored bands, I'm going to feed them on there just like that. I then want to hook this on this peg here right before you start the V. So the seventh peg down on the right. I'm then going to place my hook through the three, the triple capping band, and I'm just going to hook that one peg above on the sixth peg from the top. And I'm going to do that again for the left. So taking a single skin tone band, creating three loops. Taking two skin tone bands, feeding those into place, taking two more bands, and then hooking this on the seventh peg down on the left, feeding my hook through my capping band, and hooking that on the sixth peg down on the left, so I'm going one peg up. I'm going to go ahead and place some of my crossover bands now. So I'm going to start up here at the top. The first one is going to be a single double and we're creating a tri uh, triangle, or I'm sorry, a diamond instead of a triangle. So all you do is single double from the second peg down, create your triangle, and then grab the bottom and pull it over the third center peg. My next one is a single half double. So to create that, you just create a single triangle on your pegs, twist, 
it around and then just hook that half to the center peg. And my last one here is a um, single neon green or neon orange. I don't know why I have green stuck in my head. Moving into the face, just taking a single skin tone band on the sixth peg down, creating your triangle and repeating that again on the seventh peg. Now we're going to attach the eyes. To do that, I'm just going to take a single skin tone band, feed that through my beads. Which is not cooperating again today. And I'm going to place that on the fifth peg down, straight across. I'm going to push the two beads to the side, going through the center of those bands. I'm going to grab the bottom portion and pull it down and around this peg here, the sixth peg in the center. Now we need to create his nose, and to do that you're just going to take a single skin tone band on your hook, creating four loops. So one, two, three, four. And I'm going to do that three times total. So that's one, one, two, three, four. That's two. And one more time. One, two, three, and four. So three of those in total. Taking a single skin, I'm going to double it. And I'm going to pull these into place. Grab the other side and pinch that together. I'm then taking a single skin tone band and feeding that in place as well. This will then be placed on the sixth peg on the right to the sixth peg on the left. Just like that. Now we also need to attach his body, so just grab the body and your holding hook and you're going to place that here as if it's your capping band at the base of the chin. Just like that. And if it's going to make it easier for looping, you could always pull this down and just hook some of those red bands around that peg so that you can actually see in there to grab your bands. Now before we can attach the beard, we do need to start the looping process. So you're going to go in through this band, your body band for your cap, grab your first two bands, bringing those up, mine go over to the left. And I'm going to grab the next two, bringing those up and to the right. And I'm going to stop there, push these down a little bit, grab the beard, and on the top you have three sets of two. So the first two attach to your right peg. The center two will attach here, and the last two attach on the left. Just like that. And now I'm going to go in, grabbing my last two skin tone color bands. And there's a lot of bands in here, so sometimes you might need to turn to the side to see what you're grabbing. And I'm going to bring those forward. Now I'm going to go ahead and loom up the first two of the skin tone colored bands. So going in, grabbing these two, make sure when you do this, you wrap it up. You want to go up and around the nose so the nose is actually coming through those bands. And then going through here, make sure that you're going through that eye band as well, not through the outside. Grabbing the next two and bringing those up. And we're going to stop there. Going in on the right, make sure you're going through all of the bands here on the right. I'm grabbing only those bottom two skin bands and bringing those up. Going through all of these and bringing the two skin tones up. I'm then going to go in grabbing my first two orange bands and those go over to the center. Now go down on the left, do the same thing, make sure you're going through all of the bands, only grabbing the bottom two skin tone colored bands, 
and bring that up. I'm going to go in, grab my first two orange, and bring them to the center. Now I'm going to go back over here to the right, and I'm going to go ahead and loop up the right side all the way to the top. Going back down on the left, I'm going to do the same thing. And then going in here, grabbing, make sure you go through all of the skin and orange bands, grabbing only the bottom two, and just loop straight up the center. Make sure when you get here, to this peg. Remember, you have the diamond shape, you also have the half double. You want to make sure you are going through the center. Don't go on the outside of those bands. You want to go straight through the peg so you're grabbing through the center. Once we are at the top, we're going to grab two orange bands and I'm going to go in and create my slip knot. <coughs> Pull that tight, and we'll go ahead and remove him from the loom. Pull this tight up at the top. Go ahead and push his eyes forward. Now for this, just flip him over and then I just went down through these bands straight through the center. Grab your two slip knot bands and then just pull it down and through the back of his head. like that. And when you flip him back over, just pull up a little bit to so he reclaims the um, point on the top of his hat. You still want it to be a little pointy at the top. If you pull down too far, it's just going to keep pulling the hat back. Okay. Now as far as his belt goes, you're just going to readjust, pull down a little bit if your um, belt loops are separated, you can just kind of pull one over top of the other two for that to be in place. Pull down on the belt, squeezing the three yellows, and pull those. you can pull those up to the top of the bands. And the same thing here if you want to pull these down. A little more visible under the beard. And then before we do the glasses, we'll go ahead and draw his eyes on. So just push everything back. like that. Now to create the glasses, you're going to take a single silver band on your loom and come down once. I'm then going to take another single band and I'm going to drop that over my second center peg. I'm going to go underneath, so straight through the bottom, grabbing this silver band here. And I'm going to bring it out, out this side, and up and over and rehook it onto that peg. I'm then going to grab the bottom band, this one here, bring it up and over, and I'm going to go ahead and pop this off the peg, but I want to hold these two on the peg so that they're kind of held in place and tighten this up. We can then pull this off just like this. Now what you want to do is you're going to take, I'm going to use a smaller hook, I'm going to go underneath his beard, and when you created the nose, there's actually a slight hole in the center. So you're just going to push your hook through that hole there. And then looking at the band, you have the one band that created like a bow effect, and then the long one. You want to grab the long band 
and pull that straight through his nose all the way down. I'm then going through the back of his head, down below the nose. I'm going to grab that same band and pull it into the back of his face, like that. We're then going to adjust his eyes some, because mine has now ended up cross-eyed. And then you just want to adjust these bands so they look stand up kind of like glasses. So just twist on the edges a little. You'll just have to make some adjustments to make them stand up properly. Just like that. You'll just have to play with it. It will eventually go where it's supposed to go if you just play with the, the bands. And that is how you create Doc to add to our Dwarf series. Don't forget to subscribe for updates on future videos. And um, we do have one more dwarf to make, so I will be working on Happy soon so that we are complete with all seven dwarves. I hope you like him.